Minerals in soil came from rock known as parent material. The materials became a part of the soil when the rock is broken down by weathering into smaller particles of sand, slit, and clay. Many of the minerals such as calcium, phosphorus, and potassium are needed for plant growth. When plants and animals die, they are decomposed by bacteria in the soil. A bacteria breaks down the organic matter and nutrients are released. Decaying organic materials form humus, which provides nutrients and moisture for plants. Humus gives the soil its dark color. Plants need air around the roots. A high humus level helps produce air in the soil because the loose, decaying materials allow for many air pockets. Air spaces are also created by worms, insects, and small animals that tunnel through soil. Water dissolves nutrients in the soil and is taken up by, the, by plants through their roots. Water is also necessary in the chemical and physical process that weather rock and decay organic matter. Parent materials are rock from which soil is derived. Nutrients are a mineral substance that is absorbed by plant roots. Humus is a dark upper layer of soil made up of partially decayed plant material. Different layers in the soil and rock layer below the soil. Each layer has different physical, biological, and chemical characteristics. This is the surface layer of the soil. Rich, fertile soil in which decaying and decayed plant matter is mixed with clay, slit, and sand. This is the removal of minerals from soil by water as it moves downward through the soil. Leaching occurs in wet climates. This occurs in areas with drier climates. As water in the topsoil evaporate, water from below is drawn up to replace it. Plants that would grow in an area in the absence of human influence.